Y'all just tuning in with us, man. This is episode 16. I'm your boy, Prophet Rothstein. Reds, grind hard, and inspire. And today, we gonna, you know what I'm saying, we gonna, we gonna just uh, kick it with y'all on some real shit for a second, man. Um, one thing that's been in the news that's, you know, I, and I kind of saw this shit coming is the Kyle Rittenhouse shit, man. Um, the 17 year old that uh, was charged with uh, five felony counts. The dude, the shorty from uh, the Kenosha, Wisconsin, shooting the 17 year old that, 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 that shot. What, he, three what he got loose in? Start shooting motherfuckers. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Killed yeah. two people. He drove down there intentionally so, to shoot some come niggas. Come on, come on. Oh, well, he, well, he didn't shoot. He, 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 he didn't shoot uh, no black people. Yeah. But Shorty is from Illinois. Right. Uh, right. so I'm trying to Illinois. Uh, Antioch. He from Antioch, Illinois. 17 years old. 30 minutes from Kenosha. And he's still alive. Still they alive. took him in custody. Let me, they just grabbed him and. Bro, they ain't even take him in custody, bro. He turned himself in. Why? I'm gonna, I'm we're gonna run the <laughs> video. Nah, I dig. So, shorty, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to run the time. I'm gonna try to run the timeline down to you as best I can. Shorty, goddamn it, drove. Shorty, mama. Yeah. Okay, so he, he lived with his mama in, in 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 Antioch, Illinois, but his father stays in Kenosha, Wisconsin. You know what I'm saying? So they keep that in mind when you know what I'm saying. They mm -hmm. that you know. So, but his mother drove him. Now it's him. Along with a group of some other motherfuckers driving from Antioch, Illinois, to shoot some thirty niggas. to shoot some motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? To shoot some niggas. This, Wait, sir, this is around the time. What had happened around this time? Too? Um, Jacob Blake. Something was going on. Jacob right. Blake. That's what I'm saying. The police. Yeah. Yeah. So they was coming to shoot some niggas, or whoever. Nah, they just wanted to shoot down there. They, they was coming to. They was coming to just shoot. They, shoot. they say they were niggas going be to a, defend businesses. Mm -hmm. First of all, you're yeah, 17 yeah, years that old. was a that was a whole little thing. Yeah, yeah. You're 17 years old, bro. His mother drove him 30 minutes from one state to another with a military style assault rifle, with modifications on that bitch. Yeah, they should have locked her ass up. <laughs> you feel me? Or they should have let this nigga out. Let this motherfucker out. out to run the motherfucking streets, bro. Now, his plea in court was self defense. This is how he beat me on self defense. So self defense on, on what though? Who the fuck was he defending himself on? Against, he was, he was, okay, so the video I, I watched, it shows some motherfuckers chasing him down. You know what I'm saying? Um, chasing him down. And chasing, he got an assault rifle in his hand? assault rifle. What so, he, he, so, he was running? But here's the thing, it, the video don't start. Was he that, running to some old niggas or was he running from them? It was, a, he, he was essentially running from them. He probably was running to some old niggas. But at the same time, <laughs> he look, 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 at them. the same time, you don't know what happened, what, what the whole running was about before the, the video started. Yeah, what he then did. You hear me? And they and this is not a, not a camera rolling and and, and they catching this part. Anyway, boom, he pop a motherfucker, go around the car, look, he hop on the motherfucking phone. The man got on the bag, a uh, saw rifle with the, with the string on that, with the, with the strap on that motherfucker, and some some surgical gloves and shit. He's running down the motherfucking street. Now some more motherfuckers is chasing them like they was before. Like he went through the streets and they and they shoot motherfuckers, see? So a motherfucker throw a bag at him. Mm -hmm. Like a plastic bag. Another person run up behind him and knock his head off his head. He turns around. Wait, hold around. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Wait. Knock his head out, try to put a bag over his head. No, so what? one person come and throw like a plastic bag or a plastic cup or some shit at him. Literally plastic though. This all when he got an assault rifle in his hand? So this is what I'm saying to you. Who knows the reason why these people are trying to disarm this man or this kid? Mm hmm So as the shorty falls, hits the ground, they trying to take the gun from him. One motherfucker run up and try to, you know what I'm saying, hit him or whatever. Right. Shorty, boom, blow his ass. Get up, spin around. Another person trying to, you know what I'm saying, hit him with the skateboard and strike him and hit the gun. Boom, he pop his ass. It's you know all in the same Man, sequence. it's all in the same sequence, bro. Yeah. Shorty run through the streets like, like Captain America. Now let me give you some history on him. Shorty, goddammit, um, in his town, 
the little police cadet, you know what I'm saying, program. Like we yeah. had up here the, the, the little caps, you know what I'm saying, the, the, little, yeah. uh, the little junior yeah. shit. He, he a part of that shit, you know what I'm saying? So his page got a lot of Blue Lives Matter, you know what I'm saying, type of shit in that motherfucker. So he, I think he going down there to be on some- Citizens arrest type. I'm the law type All shit. All right. Now, dig this. Two of those people died, one of those people injured and wounded, you know what I'm saying, they plead. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, um, not guilty based on self-defense. And he, the kid went on the stand and put on a star-studded, non-tier crime performance. It was ridiculous. You got to see this shit. Mom was now running from my right side. Um, and I was cornered from in front of me with Mr. Zeminski. And there were... <laughs> there were three people right there. <laughs> but it was ridiculous, bro. The man got up there and, and, and pulled the most hardest, harsh, bullshit ass, trying to cry face, trying to squeeze up. You couldn't put a, a onion closer to that nigga face to get a tear out that motherfucker. Yeah. You know so what he end up? What he get? He didn't get shit. He was he, he was found not guilty on all five felony counts. He beat. Why? Was he in custody at that? So here's the thing. After he shot them two people. At, 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 at the end of the street, mm -hmm. it's two um, military style or, or, or police, you know what I'm saying, SWAT, truck, tank type of things, you know what I'm saying? And people are yelling, he shot, he just shot two, three people, he shoot, they shoot, he shooting people, he shooting people. So this when they wrestled him down? No. This is before that. This is after that. After, after he done popped them two, three people, now motherfuckers backing up like shorty tripping. Right. And now he continue walking down the street on his... Like complete, like, like, like complete disregard for life, bro. He just in the streets doing his thing. My problem, I guess, with that whole thing is I looked up the uh, Kenosha um, state law, you know what I'm saying? And, it, you know, it's pretty much the same as, you know what I'm saying, um, any other statute when um, pleading self-defense and, and, and a matter like that. Um, you know, you have to be in... Um, you have to prove, you know, that you were in fear, you know what I'm saying, for your life and you had yeah. to um terminate the threat or uh disengage or some shit that was saying the threat in order to, you know what I'm saying, um, to be justified in that. And uh, <clears throat> the funny That's part what of this tape they showed was that was defending that. This is that what was his defense, defense was. that was his defense. That was, was defending defense. the the charges. Yeah. Right. So but my my problem with that is that as after they yelling, he just he you know what I'm saying he, like the kid is the gun is hanging and he he he, he do this he walking toward he's saying somewhere many times he dropping his hands adjusting the gun all kind of shit he the tank and the trucks ride right by the man looking at him seeing looking him. at him all kind of shit bro let the they came and got the man the next day from his crib yeah, yeah he, went he went to the crib after that bro that's why I was asking you that the niggas did a loud they they took him in. I, he turned himself I, I, I had to give the like the dynamics, cause the yeah. shit is wild. Imagine, like, let's put it back in that yeah. other position. Imagine, yeah, a black, a black. You switch the roles. How that would mm, be dead. You, you, I'm telling you how it went. Switch the roles. How did that went? He would have been dead. The, the whole thing with with the um, with the Kyle Rittenhouse thing, man, is um. Even though he didn't kill black people, it's still a matter of white privilege. Hell yeah. Um, that that shit hurt too. Seeing a motherfucker get off on some shit like that and still and and then there's a picture that was posted people. with him laughing in the back of the truck <clears> as he left the courthouse beating yeah. the charges, bro. Like that Zimmerman shit still pissed Zimmerman. me. Off. That shit fucked me up, you know. Zimmerman. That shit was bogus as hell. I man. said that this feels that real Zimmerman. Shit bogus. And that shit, that shit hurt it, you know. So how do we feel about that though? Like it, it goes back to you telling me. Um, 
This is a system that we're looking for justice in that's not designed for us. It's not our setup. It's not our system. <laughs> so we, in this system, you, they always going to have the advantage for the most part. This is what I find so we myself. create our own system. So. This is what I find myself uh, drawing back to every time now. Ever since you told me that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like every time I the see system. this type of shit, like like yeah. I'm not even surprised. Like I like yeah. like the governor deployed the National Guard out there a week before the verdict, a week before the, the deliberation and shit started. Like last week, like the governor, the, well, the week before last, the governor deployed the National Guard out there. And I, and I posted on my IG, I said, man, I think the government knows something we don't know. The governor knows something we don't know. Of course he did. He knew the kills for the wall. Yeah. It's all political. It's yeah, all political. Um... Now I'm gonna tell you something that I probably didn't know though. On some old smoke and mirrors type of shit. You remember the the, the black jogger with the white man that was hunting hunting nigga. They 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 mother they ass on the back of the motherfucking pickup truck oh, shotgun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all remember that shit? Yeah. Did y'all know at the same time the Red House trial was going on? The trial with them white man was going on too. Nah. <laughs> I wasn't really. But. You know, you, you can't say it. You can't say it, Joe. Motherfuckers mother don't even know that this trial is going on. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. Here's, yeah. he, he, here's, here's a, 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 a white on white crime with the walking. Don't pay attention to the, the, the lynching that's friendly. But what did they plead? They plead self-defense in that too? Or what did they plead? I don't know. Got me. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't went that far to find that that out there plea yet. Cause like everybody I else, know. I didn't know the shit was going on either until I I started researching. So this why the shit fuck right you here. coming at these? Because no, no, I wasn't coming. I was just saying like, cause doing my research on this is when I discovered it. And I was like, damn, yeah. that's wild. So yeah. I'm, 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 I'm like, man, did y'all know, did y'all know that that shit was going on at the same time? Cause I, I cause I didn't know. Yeah. And it, and, and it, it, it give me real hide your hand type of vibes. Like, hey, look over here. Oh, we do this I mean, shit over shit, here. Oh, that shit been going on. They don't give a fuck. We got a tense of what the fuck we How y'all think that's going to play out? Y'all think them, dude, I think them, uh, them bushwhackers going to get off with that shit? I don't know. You, do, you know <clears throat> do you know the story? Not the full, no. Well, well, from what you know, you know what Is I'm saying? It, like, was it bogus? Of course yeah. it was bogus. Bro. So the black, so, bogus, so the video shows, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, the guy, he jogging, jogging through the neighborhood, just jogging through the neighborhood, bro. Mm -hmm. These guys, man, come up on the, on the, on a pickup truck, on a flatbed, bro. Like, he a bitch, G. Mm -hmm. Get the shotgun and shit, bro. Get the rash in this man, G, and, and hunt, hunt, bro. Hunt. Hunt, niggas. Hunt. If it was ever a definition of hunt. Y'all gonna see this video, I'm gonna make sure I post this video up, and y'all gonna see that it's the hunting, bro. Ridiculous. Three white men were found guilty of murder for chasing down and fatally shooting a 25-year-old black man named Ahmad Arbery in February 2020. Those men may now spend the rest of their lives in prison. The triggerman, Travis McMichael, his father, Gregory McMichael, and their neighbor, William Roddy Bryan, claimed that they suspected Arbery of burglaries in their neighborhood and were attempting to make a citizen's arrest. But prosecutors argued the men had no evidence of Arbery committing any crimes and no right to pursue him. The neighbor just jogging through the neighborhood, bro. Mm -hmm. These guys, man, come up on, the, on, the, on a pickup truck, on a flatbed, bro. Like hillbillies, G. Mm -hmm. Get the shotgun and shit, bro. Get the rash in this man, G, and, and hunt, hunt, bro. Hunt. Hunt, niggas. Hunt. If it was ever a definition of hunt, y'all gonna see this video. I'm gonna make sure I post this video up here. Y'all gonna see the, it's the, the hunting, bro. Ridiculous. Nevertheless, Cal Rittenhouse walks free. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a, it's just another day for us. Just another day. For us, you know what I'm saying? But, nah, it ain't just another day. 36 year old rapper out of Memphis. Everybody know Dolph. Everybody love Dolph. But, um, was killed at Makita's Cookie Shop in Memphis, Tennessee. 
Now, I remember when this shit happened. You know what I'm saying? I woke up early to a moment. Motherfucker had shot me the video. The little live. Yeah. Oh, girl, you know live what I'm and shit. Like, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? They say they, motherfucker said they just, that's both. I, yeah. I research. I, the net hadn't even really caught a hold to it yet, so it wasn't, I couldn't find nothing. That's why I hop on the social media. I'm, Man, y'all heard something about dog? You know what I'm saying? Nobody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Heard nothing. You text me, send me the. Uh, yeah, I'm trying. I'm, I'm like, looking like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm trying to see if, if. When you when I saw it, when you sent me, then after it hit, and then I started saying. Oh, I finna say like 10 minutes yeah. later. Yeah. It, I'm like, oh shit, this is real. And I didn't even really look at it like, because it was so fresh. So it was super this. fresh. I'm like. Um. In this security shit, man, in this uh, club shit, you know what I'm saying? Fucking with the, uh, the SOS, man. I've had the opportunity to um, work up close and personal with a lot of uh, industry greats, man. You know what I'm saying? Like Dolph. Um, shout out Zoe. Uh, Zoe brought, uh, General Zoe brought Dolph to structure. Um, and it was Dolph and his uncle. His uncle was his hype man, his older guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna post my video up there and shit, but and he rocked that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Crowd, you know what I'm saying? I'm crazy, you know what I'm saying? He was solo dolo. Just with his with his aunt, you know what I'm saying? Type yeah, maybe security with him, but um you never know at those type of moments, you know what I'm saying, like that would be your like like Oh, wait a minute. Let me see if I can get this right. In those moments like that, you never really understand the magnitude, you know what I'm saying, of the impact that... that somebody got. Yeah. 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 Until you actually get a chance to see that. To witness it. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. So, um... That was years ago, though, when you saw... That was, like, two, I was saying, three. Three, about three years ago. A lot went on three years ago. Yeah. That's why three years ago, but it was yeah. dope. But that's fucked up though that um we losing our own people to our own people though, like senseless ass shit though. Um he was killed in his city. They say a lot yeah, of, that's a the lot whole, of rappers is That's the whole story behind everybody. They getting killed where the fuck they from. So we always talk about this on the show too, like yeah. Keeping it, you know, nigga feel like they got to stay where they come from and shit like that. So then, let me ask you that. Let me ask you that. When you reach, when you, when you reach a particular, um, when you you start out chasing this dream of, of being an, 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 an entertainer, preferably a rapper. You reach a particular status to where you're in a different pay bracket than yeah. many of your peers and, and family members and, and anybody around you, rather. Yeah. Do you leave your trenches, uproot, and go build a new life somewhere else? Or do you feel obligated to stay where you are in order to, quote unquote, Give back. Most people gonna feel obligated. You know what I'm saying? Why? Why? Yeah. Why? 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 Why is it that we? Well, <clears throat> why is it that most people? What? What? What, is, what, what do you think the obligation is to, that you feel that? That you know, is 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 made to feel wrong if you become successful in the rap industry and leave. Like why? Is, why? Why is that? It's just, it's just been bred in us to do to always save our own hood and shit like that. Like if I ever get right, I'm gonna come back and save the hood type shit. That well, see, always been, you know. I mean, I don't say everybody built like that. You know what I'm saying? But most people be like, nigga, I'm a. Cause this what made you really. You know, this where you come from. So it's just in you. That's why a lot of people lose that too. Like trying to save they people over and over. You try to save your people, you end up killing off Try. yourself. Yeah. And these motherfuckers still doing the same thing. So 
it was just better than us to always get back to what gave us. And sometimes that shit is a to a default, like all oh, this shit you seeing right here. And then you got to mentally think, some of these niggas who be coming in the industry, they don't really think they finna touch the level they own. They be chasing the bag and shit like that, but a lot of niggas ain't really be on some they same Dolph, shit. Dolph estimated worth is uh, three mil. He, he know he know worth. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know, it to, to, to me, maybe it didn't have to be at a particular time. But you got people that, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like I say, somebody always hates you for the, some, the way somebody else loves you. So you got people that, you know what I'm saying, maybe, maybe went to school with, with, you know what I'm saying, with you, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? Third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, you know what I'm saying? And, and but y'all life went two different directions, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And maybe your life panned out a little bit more grander, like Dolph life, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And and everybody like, oh Dolph, Dolph, oh Dolph, Dolph, but you know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? He ate off. Yeah. But ate off from third grade, you know what I'm saying? Oh, everybody, everybody told that just ate off type of shit, type that type of shit that breeds, you know what I'm saying? Jealousy and hate and shit, bro. And and it's to me, it's those particular reasons, those exact reasons why, like you don't have to. Literally, you've done your embedding, hopefully, in your neighborhood so, by this point. Because you're, so, using, you're, you're using your neighborhood to build your brand. So let me say this. I was saying how you feel entitled. It's embedded in you to get back to what built you, right? Right. When you start, even when you're in the streets moving around and you start fucking around in the streets, doing what you're doing. As you grow, your people be like, nigga, don't forget it. We, we made you, nigga. So that same mentality when niggas be like, nigga, you old, y'all. Like, they feel like you old them and shit like that. So now you battle with that type of shit. You don't hear all these niggas telling the same story about how they done gay and tried to please motherfuckers and it still ain't enough, niggas. Like, nigga, we made you type shit. Mm -hmm. But you got to mentally get up out that mindset and it takes certain type of people to be built that way. Like, nigga, you know, I gave what I gave. That's... But you you overgive and dolphin them, man. They kind of I don't know. This a new era of a new generation of. of that's what I was saying. This the clout era and all yeah. that type of shit. Yeah. So it's kind of different. Before motherfucker would take it to the extreme like that with it, but it's a whole new era. This the social media world and shit like well, that. Well, when that shit happened, um, Memphis went into an uproar. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was a lot of uh, a lot of uh, rumors swirling uh, surrounding the heavy camp and um, uh, uh, um, Black Youngster and uh, Gotti, which has a very public, um, we'll say beef. No beef before yeah. this. Before, before he this, got this, this. And that, you know what I'm saying? That but, was years. That was years ago, right? That was some Memphis shit, right? Yeah, but it go back to the hundred shots that was let off in L.A. at Dolph. At the bulletproof car, right, right. That they yeah, they had answered that. Like yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that shit, shit had kind of like, I don't want to say it cooled down or whatever, but it wasn't as in a spotlight though. But it still could have been. You social know, media, took, but you know, social like yeah. I'm saying, social media took it and yeah, and threw it back into the. Cause now you know when shit like this happens, speculation swirls. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So that you know that, that that became one of the things and shit. But even more so. Who thrust their self into the limelight of this and became a suspect is uh, your boy Big Soldier, Big Draco. Yeah. Big Draco been clowning lately. Oh, Big Big Draco been acting the ass lately. Have you seen the, the antics this this guy has been pulling on, on social media? <laughs> yeah, I saw that. He, that. That ain't no fucking, that's some disrespectful ass shit that's all the boy doing. The niggas talking about show your condolences and do this, do that. Bruh. Them niggas was just in my DM talking major gangster shit, nigga. Talking about y'all gonna do this, y'all gonna do that. Now that y'all big homie dead, I supposed to be sad and shit. Like, what the fuck, nigga? Y'all nigga lame, man. Y'all got me fucked up. Because if that would have been me, y'all nigga would have been laughing and shit and cracking jokes. And it wouldn't have been no rest in peace, soldier boy. So, nigga, don't jump in my motherfucking DMs like you gangster, nigga. And then when your big homie die, be expecting me to be sad and shit, bro. It don't work like that, nigga. But he's saying he 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 he, he go live and he posted the video, and he and, and he he say, um, why should I feel pity for this nigga? Like if it was me, y'all be on this motherfucker laughing, talking about ha ha, 
Soldier dead, big soldier, ha 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 ha, they be laughing at me, so hell no, nah, fuck that, nigga, no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Da -da -da. You was just in my DM last week talking about how y'all gonna shoot me and do this, that, and other to me, you know what I'm saying? Like if it was me, y'all motherfuckers be laughing at me. Well, I'm supposed to feel pity for this man, like. Yeah. And you know me. Disrespectful ass shit, man. It's, it's disrespectful to disrespect the dead, period. But at the end of the day, That's just period. That's just period. Ain't no justifying that shit, man. That's just period. Yeah, that nigga bugging. Yeah. It's clout driven, though. Everything's about clout. Everything's about views. Everything's about being seen. Everything's about being talked about. You know what I'm saying? Everything, everything is about, hey, look at me, cooning, as the old folk call it, cooning. Right. There's no such thing as bad publicity, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like. Even back to Kanye, like like a lot of that shit was really we're talking about a lot of that shit was some old That's, that's how you feel too. about Kanye? You know what I'm saying? I, I gave my man. And you but feel like a lot of some of that shit was a little commercial too? A lot of that shit was real. But a lot of that shit was commercial. A, a dab of commercial. A dab of commercial. A dab of commercial. Maybe now, he maybe he maybe Kanye he got me because I thought all that shit was just he I thought he always speak really from the how the fuck he feel from the heart. I said a lot of that shit. I always got that from him. I was just thinking about that on the way over here. I was listening to some of his shit. I'm like, this nigga, uh, James Brown made, uh, what, I'm Black and I'm Proud, mm -hmm. shit like that. They speaking through their music like them. They wasn't scared to speak how they feel, but Kanye, like, he really do that shit. Mm -hmm. So I don't think he used a lot of, you saying he got a, that was a, some commercial in that shit? I'm going to tell you how and why. Tactics, like, yeah, like he was doing that Absolutely, absolutely. No. For not publicity? I, I, uh, absolutely. So yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say to that you That professional is, shit he was talking about? Well, I'm going to say to you That is, was the professional side of him? Yeah. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Professional any, rap side any shit? Any percent of that shit. The information was real. The inform okay. Absolutely. The information was real, 100%. But at the, at the end of the day, you he, can't lose sight of the fact that he's an entertainer. Yeah. He's a marketing genius. Yeah. You have to be. That's like have, somebody passing you, you something commercial. important and then they say something to you and that shit stick with you. Like, that's the nigga who passed me that one. So I'm gonna do some shit like cut these wild, weird ass, eh, 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 in my head. I'm gonna use some bullshit ass excuse why I did it to make it sound important. But realistically, when I do this shit, the world's gonna talk about me for weeks to come. I'm in the. Oh, it's that's how you fresh. Fit. You know what I'm saying to you? I don't know. That's the twenty percent part. You know what I'm saying? The, the small things. At the end of the day, the haircut came out before the interview. Yeah. The interview was the biggest view all fucking year. Right. So you think he play all this shit was the same thing with the with the fucking with the Donda with the album and shit. Yeah. Now I know about that shit. Yeah, of course. That's some like rap the, shit. Like. You, at the end of the day, you. But because, I don't want to say that's commercial shit. That's just him, his whole soul. Like when I say commercial, you know what I'm saying. I equate commercial to marketing. You know what I'm saying. I equate commercial to uh, corporate. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying. Like all that money is corporate money. Like at the, at the end of the day, you in bed with the white what? people. You in bed with the devil. You have to be. Whether it's when with guests, whether it's with uh, LMV, like whoever, like at the end of the day, you in bed with them because you you're not taxed, right? You got to pay that tax. Them taxes. No, nah, you in bed with them at the end of the day. Like that's that's who control what you're trying to do. He was just telling you though, but they don't. You don't have to be. But he is. He ain't in control of it. He using that shit for when he need to use that. He ain't in control. They not in control of him. No, I'm if not. Saying, I'm not saying. They, I'm not saying they control him. I'm not saying that at all. Hell no, they don't. Hell no. Right. I'm saying, but. When you trying to reach particular financial numbers, yeah, you gonna have to get in bed with. You know what I'm saying? See, you got you got all these revelations, and you, you know what I'm saying? You know how I this shit fucked up is because you you done been through it and you done seen. You know what I'm saying? Kanye done seen. You you not gonna have your own factory like Gucci. Yeah, he, it's not gonna he have went and did it. That. You know what I'm saying? Like. He didn't, he, he didn't see the black ball. He, he, he didn't see so how it worked. That's why he's so defiant. That's why he's telling you I'm the blueprint. 
Yeah. And that's why he was giving the information out that he was given. So you ain't got to take that same route that he took on that side. He's still taking it. How you think Kanye becomes the he use it. billionaire without being in bed with the... Of course, you got to fuck with the... You got to a little bit, but... You said... <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he ain't got the motherfucker that. Nah. I, I'm, Ye's my man, and I don't want you to get it twisted. Ye's my man. Don't get it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying twisted. But he's a marketing fucking genius. As he well. definitely is a marketing you know genius. He's a genius. And marketing is about creativity and getting. It people is about creativity to buy your product. His brand is Kanye West, bro. The Yeezy but I, brand. The Yeezy, but that's what I'm. To Ye, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's the brand. Yeah. Like he, he, you have to sell him, and you have to be. But he been, I mean, he been betting on himself from day one. That's what I'm trying to tell you. He always been a nigga who been innovative and coming with different shit and getting people to latch on to it. I know. But I'm talking about he been doing this independently without no white people. Like, he, that always been him, period. Yeah, you're right. But he, he couldn't get the way he wanted to go independently. See, you I mean, that, that's the story. Of, that's the whole, that's the everybody's story. You know you got to tangle and fuck with them a little bit to... Yeah. We don't have our own shit. No. How the fuck else we gonna break through? No, I would, I would. But he telling us let's do, let's 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 break through now. I'm giving y'all a blueprint. Let's go ahead and break through. Use this. I'm gonna tell you how I looked at it. You talking about what he had to do? He saying y'all ain't got to do this now. No, I get that. I guess when I watched it, with us doing what we do with a podcast and shit like that, you know what I'm right. saying. When I watch shit like that, you watch it from a, a, a totally yeah. different, you know what I'm yeah, saying, yeah, angle, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. So I'm not trying to, you know what I'm saying. Like I just, that's why I said, like everything, like the information that he was given was yeah. was diamond. You yeah. know what I'm saying. But I'm watching it from the media, the, the whole, yeah, yeah, the yeah, executive, yeah. The, yeah. the 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 the. Yeah, but that was on. That was exactly. Kanye had his vision of it, and then Nori and them took it in. And they gave you their visual, and that's what you're saying. You, you so enjoyed Kanye that too. It was the, a whole they show. They they, they gave on. you a show. They built the hype. But Kanye up. came and did his. Like he said, I'm so glad you came and, and you was yeah. Yay was yay. Because nigga, you know what I'm saying. That's he, what he, he meant. He, he, he brought. He put he it. He set it. the whole platform off. He for sold him. it. So, but give the marketing up to that. So we been told the head cut. Yeah. So you see, Nori cut his head like that. Nah. See, I don't be. Nah, I fuck with Nori though. I follow him on you know, shit like that though. But nah, I ain't seen that. He ain't got no fucking hair to cut. Like no, so no, no. You know, he was going to get his hair cut. Right. But he, but he did this in the business of getting the hair cut right. and shot the picture on some the promo for the interview. See, now he capital, you know, that. now that's that little, that's the shit you talking about. That's what I'm saying. Like, so, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah he Lord. cut his hair like that to me, I'm watching, to get to stay in the know. To be talked about, you know what I'm saying? Like, as long as you're talking about me, you're gonna keep this Donda shit going, you know what I'm saying? Excuse me, you're gonna keep the Donda project going, pardon me. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, it's a brand. So now, to capitalize off of that, I got Ye coming on my show so real quick, without telling you who my next guest is, I'ma just do the haircut thing and start speculation. You see Nori cut, cut it, you think he, and then here it go, boom, the Kanye interview. In the midst of while Kanye at the Donda project, you know what I'm saying, going on. In the midst of while Kanye working with uh Jay Prince. Yeah, and the free the, Larry um, Hoover. The Larry Hoover, you know what I'm saying, project, you know what I mean? Like to always be relevant, to always be in them people's faces is, is, is what you gotta do. At the end of the day, this is how you make your money. It's it's yeah. all about marketing, you know what I'm saying? In order to get Without people to, to hear what you gotta say, you have to get their attention. Right. And sometimes this shit got to be as outlandish like a motherfucker. And I'm cool with that with Kanye because the shit he be saying it's gold. It's, 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 it's what it's supposed to be. It's worth it's what it's supposed to be. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's the main thing to me. Cause right now we at a time where we can really like. He we need always some been that, that outspoken though. That's he what I'm saying. Back when he said Kanye, he said George Bush didn't care about black people. He always been outspoken. Before that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, he was telling you shit about himself, like, you know. He was a nigga that always 
was willing to put itself out there to, to show. So let me ask you one thing: Is there such thing as respectful cheating? Jokes. That's 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 what a motherfucker would say. Like, well, is there such thing as respectful cheating? You ain't never. You ain't never. Um. You ain't never had to worry about shit. <laughs> no motherfucker calling you or popping up and no shit. Huh? That's what you talking right. about. No, I mean whatever your definition of it is. I'm asking is, is there a such thing? Period. That is some people's definition. You know what I'm saying? Like I. That's a motherfucker I, who. That's coming that's from the person definition. who. Yeah. That's a great definition. Yeah. Um. And then a motherfucker who take like they, a, a motherfucker who you giving that to will be like, get the fuck out of here. Right. You respectfully did it. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck is What if what what so what if your mate is handicapped though? Yeah. And like, you know Like this is <clears throat> No, like yeah, like from the way he's down, nah, don't I'm talking about though. just a real world basic shit. Fuck the, it. The, it no, this, ain't got this to is be real world. If your mate is handicapped, if your mate's in a wheelchair from the way he's down, he's paralyzed like and can't perform sexually like this is your mate, this is your husband, your, you know what I'm saying, your wife. They like, not thinking about no fuck. They know they finna be fucking. You can't they can't do shit. Some that's not man, listen. That's a whole different mindset. They gotta know what the fuck going on. But I, you talking about just a regular No, so right so like that's another aspect of what yeah. I'm saying, respectfully, you know what I'm saying? Like you gave one and, I, and I'm saying like some people will say in that instance that's another, you know what I'm saying, respectful way, like it's a compromise to where I'm gonna give you the power to consent to say, Yeah, you can because it is I know I can and you want the bam. And that somewhat gives me some type of power. So, you know what I'm saying? An exchange of power? With, with, with yeah, but no. yeah, but no. <laughs> yeah, but no. Yeah, but no. So you can't be you you can't be fucking with a motherfucker that's handicapped then who dick don't work. Cause he put that from the waist down. So they mindset is totally they should be known. That, that's, know. Th that's some abnormal shit. Cause yeah, that's that's, that's not abnormal, normal, but I'm saying that the situation is it's, it's, it's regular as fuck, bro. It's they normal. mindset shouldn't even be respectfully what? cheating, so they expect some niggas do. The same way some niggas can, can go to jail for a long amount of time, and some niggas can't expect they will not, not the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Like, some niggas got that fucking mental block where they, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. That's a real thing. So, like, shit. But when you keep it real with yourself, you know you can't. And you know she gone. That's what I'm saying. So, you, you just go ahead and be like, you go ahead and be like, you know what I'm well, saying? Well, if you are hand. But, I mean, you was talking about some handicap shit. I'm talking about. No, no. What I'm talking. See, so you you be getting you be getting lost. Don't get lost with me. This respectful cheating. The 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 example you gave was excellent and the most you know what I'm saying common way. Mm -hmm. But this is also a real thing. And I and I'll put even comment like this. You have guys that has been shot. Still young guys. Fly, fresh, and just like us, all that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Try to take out the cars, all that type of shit, but ways down, they paralyzed. Yeah. Not even still, that. Still people in the problem of their life. Yeah, people on dialysis, some motherfuckers, blood ain't flowing, right? Shit like that. I, I got you. What I'm saying was, when you describe that one, though, you ain't go off into that. I say that but they can't. Paralyzed from the ways down. Like, but the, the, go the, ahead. I, did, I probably should have put it a little bit more. Our dead time for you know, that's a bunch of people yeah, that but that's a real thing. Like I, I work at the clubs and I, and I see young guys out and we got to you know what I'm saying lock their wheels. They got to lift up and we got to mm -hmm. touch all the them. Like it's a, like and it's like and they be with some bad bitches though. You feel me? And it's like you know, you know it's, it's like like you you you, you dig what I'm saying? Like the it, it crosses your mind like. I know he not motherfucking cracking that motherfucker. I know, I know, she got, she got to be. And that's what I'm saying. That he know he can't do shit. So <laughs> right, but the, the dynamic may she may be so committed that like just because she know he don't he don't he don't want to. But some no. niggas would be like because he know he can't. He he gonna give permission for it too, so she don't. So he'll feel like he has to do with the decision. If that's making any kind of sense at all. And so yeah. it, 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 it looks respectful because all my man know what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he told me, like, 
this was this was our agreement because of this situation. You know what I'm saying? So it's like respectfully. I mean, I think it's just being discreet, though. When we say respectful and cheating, it's like just being discreet. Because you, you, you hear those stories where the, uh, like the housewife would be like, yeah, but he, you know, I know he do what he do when he leave, but you know, I, ne- I never ran into the situation. He never brought it home. Right. Exactly. Shit. So I think just being discreet, doing it vice versa. That's more, that's, that's, that's more that's so, the shit. that's more so uh, um, what, the first thing you know, that would come to mind is discretion. That's what I said. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I just want I want to put a little. Yeah, well, you fuck me up with yeah, all I, that I, shit. I, I, I want to put a little me, juju in there. You know what I'm saying? Took me somewhere else. Put a little juju in there, right quick, man. But um, it's been cool kicking it with you though, my yeah. man. What you get? What you see? You always get on some old fresh ass new shit though. <laughs> Everything had to tell me is fire. You feel me? Gotta be. You feel me? Gotta be. We can so. You ain't told motherfuckers yet. Motherfuckers gonna grab that shit from. We like three more you episodes know. here. You have not one time told motherfuckers where they can go get the joints at, me. Niggas be doing you know these joints. These is one to ones, by the way, y'all. Yeah. And no, no two hats is the same. The nigga be dope. Mm-hmm. Where can they get the shit? Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Riz underscore Ground Hard Inspire, or you can check the 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 website out too. You see something you like, then you just hit me up and then, you know, I'm pulling up. I'm going to need you to get some of these um, 4, 5, X type of shit in. You know what I'm saying? So I can start being inspired. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. You know I'm discriminating. My hat game man. is fresh. My hat game is inspirational yeah. like a motherfucker right now. You know what I'm saying? I need some apparel now. Got you. You feel me? And this is the season. You all New York out. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Y'all see the... the Everything is <laughs> It's always got to be like that. But definitely um, check out the Instagram, Red That's Square Ground Harder. And then the website is uh, groundhardinspire.com. Um, but it's it's definitely going to get, it's more to come though, man. There's more to come. We ain't going to hold y'all. You got the key for us? Um, I, wanted to, I wanted to tap into that. Uh, What's up? When we was talking about the COVID and shit and the vaccinations and uh, shit like no, that. No, so no. we was we was saying like we were speaking last time and I was like, you know, I had uh at first I was against it, then I right. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna fuck with it. But right now Yeah, I got the vaccination. You 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 vaccinated? You Definitely. Which one you grab? Uh Visor. Pfizer. Yeah, I got my daughter vaccinated too, man. She got the first shot though, so Shout out to that's Riley what I was Definitely. That's what I was getting into, like, you know, the school's getting flooded with um, COVID cases and shit like that. Like, they be sending out little messages about um, it spreading, and then the little kids, they they the most valuable out of everybody, so. Sometimes we concentrated on kids. Right, kids right, 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 right. Strong. Right, but I just what feel like. What changed With what? The vaccination? Yeah, because I remember. I don't. We was, we was strong on the, on the. Right, and I don't even fucking know why, you know what I'm saying, because it's. Did you feel- like I told you, you know what I told you the the, the COVID nineteen thing was a, it wasn't even about no infecting us. It was basically about the economy and wiping out the economy, and getting shit cleared out. They pulled the, they pulled the um a bankruptcy move on the whole fucking economy. Like we finna wipe it out, with the um with the COVID nineteen, and we gonna pull out all the grants, all this shit out, blow this bitch up, give everybody some money, let them build some shit up. We gonna tax some shit. Quantitative loosening. Yeah, we gonna tax some shit. Um, we gonna give away a whole lot, <laughs> a whole lot of fake shit. You yeah. know, a whole lot of link, a whole lot of unemployment yeah. and shit. And then we gonna raise the price of shit, cause we gotta get it back. Right, so and then exactly, time. exactly, exactly. So for me, the vaccination wasn't a threat really to me. Mm-hmm. They always talking about population, like controlling motherfuckers, putting chips and shit like that. Mm-hmm. That's what well, well, no they, live sales. They got. Bro. Many opportunities to do that shit, so that wasn't really. That's what hit me, like when I and I had been saying it like this shit about money, mm-hmm. and then as I kept first it was the mask and all that shit. That shit started going a big end, like with like you said Amazon, different shit like that. Now you got people hooked on DoorDash and and, and all this type of shit. Mm-hmm. Everything is accessible where it come to you, mm-hmm. and then they just fl- they they killed off of that shit. Made a kill. You know, so they Did and you now feel they. Different? 
with the vaccination. Yeah, like did you have? Did you go through some type of like like body? Like some people be fucked up. Out of them right. So I, my first shot, my arm was sore for like a week. But the first day when I came home, I'll be ripping and running all the time. So you know I'm always tired, but I'm still going. But this, I was like, nigga, I'm finna go take me a nap. <laughs> I ain't took no nap. Tired, tired. Bro. I ain't took no fucking no, he, nap. He tired, boss. And years, and I took a nap. So that motherfucker, yeah. But after that, the second one, I was straight. But um, the kids in these school system and shit like that, you especially the public school. Too? Yeah, yeah, she got the Pfizer too. She got two, two, uh, she got to get two. She got to get another one. one. She just got her first one though. But I took her straight to where she was um, to rush. You know, no, so no, I ain't taking no. her to no little clinic and no shit. I took her to rush. Uh, still, I ain't taking her to no Walgreens mm -hmm. and no shit like that. So but I was just saying, like the these joint. kids, man, they, because you know, kids be they in contact with with a lot, a, lo a little bit of everybody, especially depending on where these kids coming from and shit. So mm -hmm. the kids getting affected by and shit, these kids getting real sick and shit like that, man. Probably they going they just should have mandated that anyway. Before the kids came back to school, that they got vaccinated. Now they putting all these kids at risk, you know, and they getting you can't really, COVID. You can't really mandate it because I mean, some of these things are really people's religion, you know. And, yeah, that's and, true. And these, that's true. Like, you 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 have to be in the in, in the land of the free, the home of the brave. If this is the picture, if this is the illusion that you that you picture to me. You have that's to they have shit though. That's they system. Yeah, yeah they got that's that. for them. Yeah, but you can't, you, about? You, that's can't, you can't. You can't tell me I got control. I have control over my body when it comes to abortion, but I don't have control over my body when it comes to what you want to inject inside of me. It's like. Let me put it like that. They should have gave them options of the people who. Well, if you get. That, I'm they, surprised they, they didn't do that though. The people who not vaccinated, not you can't come back to school. The people. But does that mean like so it's like if if it's some people who whose parents it is um a religious thing and, and they don't have a choice in the matter because it's it's the way they brought up on like should they like the education be taken away from them because of somebody they have no control over, so they not no. have to learn. No. You know I ain't saying it's right, but yeah. say it's cold but it's fair, huh? <laughs> I just don't know. My motherfucking do it. Red, <laughs> Red say it's cold, but it's fair. Like, I yeah. It's the system. Yeah. But my daughter done been sick a lot coming, you know, going to school with these yeah. kids, man. man that kids shit don't. When it comes to me, it's bro. Like, I, they, they're germs. Like, when my kids be sick, like, yo, I, I isolate their ass. Like, go get the fuck away from me. Like, I'm yeah. 41. The shit they be coming home with, bro. They one little simple sneeze, G, before I be balled up in the bed for a week, fucked up. Yeah. And they, they snotty, snotty for two, three days, and they fine. Yeah. You hear me? Their immune system. The their immune, that young immune system is a motherfucker. They yeah. fighting off some good shit, some fresh shit. You hear me? So, so what you think? You think they don't, the, the little kids shouldn't get it? I think, um... If you are opposed to it for your child, there should still be the option of the virtual schooling by the teacher for the group of children in that class that opted out of the shot so the curriculum yeah. isn't lost. They was doing that already with the um with the e learn like. Yeah, but when the when the schools went back in, the e learn stopped. They had already had kids going in, transitioning. Before was, they opened up the school yeah. fully, they had kids already going. But there was an option where that was the all of them could have went if they if that, everybody that was the yeah. transition. Any you, you 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 can't just coach a shock and throw them back into that. You have to you have to anything like you got transition in. But what I'm saying is like right now though, it's like if you don't get the shot, like ain't, 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 ain't no e learn or is it? Right. Ain't, ain't no e learn option. If you get the shot, just, nah, you, you right can't now, come to school. It's just my point, kids. These kids getting sick, like. Yeah, I'm saying it's, it should All be, it should be an alternative for the kids that they don't have a choice. Is what I'm saying, and I I, I get that part, but some children don't have a choice. So the the the, the schools where the system should provide a program to where the kids don't have a choice in the matter can stay home away yeah. and not miss the curriculum that they're supposed to have in order to you know what I'm saying learn and, and, and progress. Just my opinion. You feel me? 
Yeah, but it was just, kid. you know, I just but wanted to speak on that. Cause the same way you care about your kids, somebody else care about their kid too, as well. And the same yeah. way you feel about your kid getting sick, the same way somebody else feel about their kid getting injected with some shit today, absolutely against. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So who's to say your child's health and endangerment is more important than how they feel just because of the government mandates this and you've already established that it's about money. It definitely is about money. You've all, you've, you know something. But you. kids getting sick though. They are people. Not just kids, people. people it, it is yeah. a real thing, people. People. But kids, people are still getting sick with the fucking shot. That's true too. With the fucking shot slot. People still get sick catching this shit with four immunizations or vaccinations. It's a rock so you and against? Place, man. Nah, I'm not saying I'm against this shot. I'm against this version of the shot. I'm against these. I feel like this is the trial runs because you know the, the the money run. I'm against this version of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, the, the 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 disease is absolutely real. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm there's no fear to time. I didn't think the disease is even real. It's mm -hmm. absolutely real. So I'm not against the vaccination. I'm against this version. I feel like they shouldn't have went back that motherfucking. The kids went back, but the parents have to go back to work because you have to stand at the comedy. They go back to yeah, work. that's what the I'm saying. That's why it's all about them. <laughs> like, fuck that. <laughs> Ain't enough time to, to get it right. We finna do this shit now. Yeah. But that's, that was, that's what I wanted to touch on, though, about this. Well, you, the, the, I'm with it. I just think it should be um, an, an alternative provided for those that... For the kids that you know that don't have a choice over their body, their parents make a choice over their body. And they say gotcha. that ain't getting the shot. So, as me, um, what you got? The word for the week is spontaneity. 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 We need to be a little bit more spontaneous with shit. Oh, that's this, what you... we, we only got one of these things. We only got one of these. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. when it's curtains, it's curtains, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't no dress rehearsal. You know what I'm saying? We miss 100% of the shots that we don't take. You know what I'm saying? You at least give yourself, throw that before against the backboard. Just do it. Nike was on to some shit when they came up with the campaign. Just do it. Just do it. Spontaneous. I've been doing that shit my Spontaneous. Whole... You know what I'm saying? Fuck planning it. Just do it. Mm -hmm. Just do it. Live. It's been episode 16, man. I'm your, your host, uh -huh. Prophet. Ridge, Ground, Harley, and Spire. I think we should shout out the fucking straight of the day. Because this is what got us. The straight of the fucking day. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, Blue, Guava, Blue Guava Berry. And of course, the V-Long Runs. Motherfucking phenomenal. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Strange J, motherfucking phenomenal. This shit is grand, as you can fucking see. We just wanted to chop it up with y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep y'all current on what we got going on. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to 6 H Media, man. Check out the prior episodes that, you know what I'm saying, that we didn't post it, man. Catch up with us. If you want to be a guest on the show, subscribe. email us at 6 Media at gmail.com. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe no. to our individual. You can hit me up at SAV Profit. On Instagram, what's your IG? Ridge underscore Brown Hard and Spike. On IG, it's the podcast Heat Check, and we out. My niggas 24 with the cold cold. Yo. Make a fiend be the seat like go go. Word. Came in with stick, no pogo. Go oh. nick, make everybody get low. Yeah. One shot to the head, that do low. Yeah. All my hitters gon' hit on scope go. Bitch. Just like this money, we don't fold. Oh. We live and die by the cheek. Go back his bitch with the side. And a quarter brick of that guy got. Keep post, she don't speak, she